Yishrael spoke to his twelve sons, the twelve tribes of Yishrael, and he blessed them. Every one according to his blessing he blessed them, and he charged them, and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron the Cheti. In the cave which is in the field of the Machapela, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought with the field from Ephron the Cheti for a possession of a burying place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah his woman. There they buried Yishak and Rebekah his woman, and there I buried Leah. The field and the cave that is therein, which was purchased from the children of Chet. And when Jacob made an end of charging his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and expired and was gathered to his people. Bereshit, Genesis chapter 50. And Yosef fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. And Yosef commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. And the physicians embalmed Yishrael. And forty days were fulfilled for him, for so are fulfilled the days of embalming. And Mithraim, they wept for him seventy days. And when the days of weeping for him were past, Yosef spoke to the house of Paraor, saying, If now I have found favor in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Paraor, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die. In my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan, there shalt thou bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Parao said, Go up, and bury thy father, according as he made thee swear. And Yosef went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Parao, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Mithraim, and all the house of Yosef, and his brothers, and his father's house, only their little ones, and their flocks, and their herds, they left in the land of Geshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of the Artad, which is beyond the Jordan, and there they lamented with a very great and sore lamentation, and he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaani, saw the mourning in the threshing floor of the Artad, they said, A grievous mourning is this of Mithraim. For what reason the name of it was called Abel Mithraim, which is beyond the Yoradan. And his sons did to him according as he commanded them. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan, and buried him in the cave of the field of the Machapela, which Abraham bought with the field for a possession of a burying place from Ephron the Cheti before Mamre. And Yosef returned into Mithraim, he and his brothers, and all that went up with him to bury his father, after he had buried his father. And when Yosef's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, 
It may be that your Seif will hate us and will fully requite us all the evil which we did to him. And they sent a message to your Seif, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say to your Seif, Forgive, I pray thee now, the transgression of thy brothers and their sin for that they did to thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive the transgression of the servants of the God of thy father. And Yosef wept when they spoke to him. And his brothers also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are thy servants. And Yosef said to them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? And as for you, ye meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to effectuate as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them, and he worded upon their heart. And Yosef dwelt in Mithraim, he and his father's house. And Yosef lived a hundred and ten years. And Yosef saw Ephraim's children of the third generation, the children also of Machir, the son of Manasseh, were born upon Yosef's knees. And Yosef said to his brothers, I die, but God will surely visit you and bring you up out of this land to the land which he swore an oath to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob. And Yosef took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Yosef died, being a hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Mithraim. Now these are the names of the sons of Israel who came into Mithraim, every man and his household came with Yaakov, Reuben, Shum'on, Lewi, and Yehuda, Yishashachar, Zabulon, and Benyamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Yaakov were seventy souls, and Yosef was in Mithraim already. And Yosef died, and all his brothers, and all that generation. And the children of Yisrael were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and became exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Mithraim, who knew not Yosef. And he said to his people, Behold, the people of the children of Yisrael are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it become, as a war happen, they also join themselves to our enemies, and fight against us, and get them up out of the land.' 